Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter with this edition of Sneak Peek, our weekly look at the upcoming edition of Cranes. A special report by Steven Strahler this week profiles some of personal injury law's rising stars and details how the industry is more grueling than ever before. The report points out that because of the drop in the number of civil cases going to trial, it has been more difficult to groom a next generation of established brand name trial attorneys. Cranes identified a handful of the top personal injury attorneys under 50. One of them is Dan Coton, the nephew of industry pioneer Philip Corboy. Coton last spring launched a new firm with two partners after leaving Corboy and Demetrio. The impact of fewer trials, he says, fewer good lawyers. It's a different ball game, and it's frustrating if you're somebody who really enjoys being in a courtroom. In order to be a good trial lawyer, you have to stand in a courtroom and try a case. And until you do it over and over again, you're not going to be good no matter how smart you are, no matter how well trained you are in law school or in these seminars or these classes. The only way to get good is to try cases. And with fewer trials, you're going to have fewer experienced trial lawyers and you're going to have a lower quality of courtroom experience. Hi, Kara. Hi. How are you, girl? Not many of the city's top personal injury lawyers are women, but Elizabeth Caveney and Karen Enright are two of them. They are friends, but work at different firms. Some of their biggest paydays have come from medical malpractice claims, but both say it's challenging work. There's been a lot of pressure in the last 20 years for tort reform and changes in the medical system. Um, and it's had an effect on the outcome of medical malpractice cases, even when there are meritorious cases and true victims of medical negligence. So I think that that pressure from society has reduced people's ability to successfully handle a medical malpractice case to verdict. I think because of the complexity of medical malpractice, it's very time consuming. Each case you have to study from a different aspect of medicine, whether it be anesthesiology or cardiology. And it's very time consuming and these days it's really hard to get experts that are local so Beth and I constantly f find ourselves flying all over the place so not only are you studying for your depositions taking big experts depositions but there's also a lot of travel so I think that has also had an impact on uh, women in the industry and in trial lawyers in general. For more read the special report available tomorrow on our iPad app and on our website chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching.